nighttime eye look um my whole face is already completed i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how you can go from daytime makeup to nighttime makeup just in case you're in a rush sometime and you don't feel like doing your whole face or just in case you love how your whole face came out and you don't want to touch it and you just want to add some more drama into your eyes so you can be ready to go out at night so um this is what my daytime look looks like um i've been having interviews all week long and this is what i've been going to um it's pretty much just one shade and then blend it and transition to another shade and um no falsies just mascara curling my eyelashes some eyeliner the rest is basic and um this lippy that i've been wearing all week long just because i think it's like my new favorite um it's the nyx lingerie and corset um, so this is what I've been using. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to go from a daytime look to a nighttime look. So if you want to go ahead and see how I do that, just go ahead and keep on watching. Going in with the shade Lula, I'm going to be adding more to the lid. And that was what my base color was just for my daytime look. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat that on there make sure that it's darker and touching it up. Then I'm going to be going in with Violetta and adding that to my crease. on the shade Bronx with this flat brush just because it's a shimmery shade and I wanted to stay in the middle and not blend it out too much into my crease. <music> Topping the look off with Fifth Avenue which is going to go right in the center. It is a very metallic gold and I just want to go ahead and make the eye look pop even more. Jumping into the second eye, I'm just going to go ahead and speed through the process, but it is the same steps and the same shadows that were used on the right eye. My right, your left. Or my right, your left. Oh, whatever. First eye. some more color into my lids um, I'm not quite done yet I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in into doing my liquid liner and then um, we're gonna add some lashes and that will add all of the dramaticness that we need to be able to rock this look on the night time Okay, this is not okay. Mm. So what I'm gonna do, because nobody's perfect at eyeliner, I'm gonna grab this makeup remover wipey and I'm going to be removing the tip of this one. This is the risk that you take when you do your face first and then your eyes that in mind okay so there's my wing liner I'll correct the mistakes later so we're just gonna go ahead and move on to eyelashes I'm going to be using I got these really wispy ones for free from the wish app because I had ordered stuff from there like um I had ordered what did I order 
Oh yeah, I ordered uh, I ordered my selfie case, like with the light, you know, like when you take selfies. And then I also ordered like a really big fur rug for my room. And then um, that still hasn't got here. But anyways, um, since I had points, I got these lashes for free and I already used the first pair up top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, use these. And um, I'll just go ahead and try not to speed through the whole process, but I'll show you like a step by step on how I put my lashes on. So first thing is first, you take your lashes off. This. I do waste a lot of eyelash glue, like I put it in the back of my hand, and that kind of tends to waste a lot of glue. But it's just a habit that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue. These are on top of this little drawer, and the drawer is kind of just like everything's in there. Okay, so now that I put glue in the back of my hand, which is a lot of glue, um, I also have some always on the end of my. Oh my god, I can't speak today. At the end of my tweezers, so I just go ahead and grab the lashes. Like these. Grab the lashes, and then. Run the glue on the line. Okay, so mind you, while I'm putting glue on this lash, the other lash is sitting there drying, so I kind of do that while I'm putting lash glue on that one and the first one's drying. I like to let them sit there and dry because so the eyelash glue can get a little tacky. Okay, so now that that's done, I grab the wipey, wipe the eyelash glue because it gets everywhere. So then I grab the first one that I put the eyelash glue on, which was the right one. And then while I'm putting this lash on, the left eyelash is going to be dry. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so now that we're super zoomed in, we're just going to grab the lash. And you can do it with your eye open or closed. I like doing it with my eye open just because it started making it easier for myself. But, like I said, for beginners or for advanced or whatever, just... Okay, and now we're just going to go on with the other one before that dries. And we're going to put that one on the same way. that glue to dry all the way and then the whiteness will turn into clear and then once that is done we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and go back over with the liquid liner to cover all the little white dots that are left behind okay so that is it for the eyelashes while they dry so i'm gonna go back in with the mario palette and i'm going to be adding some color to my lower lash line with the little brush that it came with and on this end it has like a little um, round blending brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up that Lula color and I'm just gonna run it all under my lash line just to give it a little bit more depth in there and then I'm gonna add the color Violetta which is this one Violetta okay I'm gonna add that to the outer corner Okay, and now that that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and grab some mascara. And then I'm just using the Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. And I'm going to run that under my bottom lash line. Okay, and then now we're just going to go ahead and move on to our highlight. Okay, so for our highlight, we're going to be using um, two highlights that I normally don't use on my everyday looks. I only use them when I'm going to go out at night to so make my highlight more intense. So I'm going to be using the High Beam um, Luminescent Complexion Enhancer by Benefit. And this is more like a liquid um, 
illuminator and it comes with like a little nail polish nail polish bottle so i'm going to be adding that to where i already have my highlight you can kind of just see i did a little natural highlight for for the daytime and i'm going to be grabbing just a little bit and i'm going to be bringing it down and you have to go ahead and blend it right away because it um when it dries it kind of causes spotting and it's hard to blend out Okay, so that already intensified that a little bit. Just gonna go ahead and do the other side. And when I was going through like a crazy highlight phase, I was using this in all my looks where I was just putting this first and then I was putting the um, highlight on top. But I started um, just doing like a more natural highlight after a while. Okay, so now that that already intensified my cheek one highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Oh, let's see. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Candlelight Highlight just because that one has like a perfect um, white gold highlight. My regular brush that I use for highlighting. And as I was saying before, I was really interrupted again by my camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this um, white highlight from the Too Faced Candlelight Glow palette. And I'm going to just be swatching that over where I put the Benefit Cosmetics. And I like really intense highlight when I go out on night, just so you can be able to see it more and it'll still be there at the end of the night. So, okay, so now that the eyes and the highlighter are done, we're gonna go ahead and touch up our lips. So we're gonna be removing it with a makeup wipe. -y. Liquid lipsticks are no joke. Okay, so now I took it out and make it all over with my sponge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that our lips are a clean canvas, we're going to go ahead and grab a more darker lippy just because it is a nighttime look. So I'm going to be going in with the NYX Matte um, Lipstick in the color Butter. Ow. In the color Butter or in the shade butter auto. So it looks like this. It's a little bit darker than the actual liquid lipstick. So we're gonna go ahead and outline our lips first with our NYX lip liner in the shade A Thousand Years. Now we're just going to go ahead and with the lipstick. So I just noticed something doing this video for you guys. Um, I thought that that lip color was going to be way darker than the other. But it's very, very similar. So I think I just want to do for you guys. You can always match up the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Butter. Exactly, if you don't like the matte liquid lipstick, if you don't like the matte feeling, you can go and get this lipstick, which leaves a creamy end, um, a creamy finish. This one is Corset by the NYX Lingerie Liquid Matte Lipstick, and I just found out they're the same thing. <laughs> so, which comes to this. I'm just gonna keep it, it looks cute. Okay guys, so now that I did my lips, um, the nighttime finish look is kinda done. Um, as for, you know, adding some drama to it, just in case you were going somewhere more intense, or you wanted to add a little bit more glitter, um, I'm gonna go ahead and be adding my NYX glitter. It's called NYX Face and Body Glitter, and it's in the number or shade 5 gold. So what I do is I go ahead and push them at the inside of the cap, so we don't get fallout everywhere. Okay, so what I did is pretty much got the NYX glitter. I put it in my inner corner, so what I did is I used this brush, and I just dab it into the glitter. Put it in the inner corner. Okay, and then we're all done. Just put a 
mature brush out all the fallout before it gets everywhere so that is pretty much it um this thing needs a little bit more glitter Ugh. i know myself sometimes so i went i sprayed the brush i'm applying it with with my marble dispute spray Okay, so now that I added glitter to the eye look, this look is complete. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.